Hey, I'm Mike Campbell, and this is a limited edition Heartbreaker. Back in 75, I think, and we were in the studio working on the first Heartbreakers record, and all I had was a Strat. Tom wanted to play guitar, so I loaned him my Strat, and then I needed something to play. So I went down, the one day I bought, I found a broadcaster, I think it was 600 bucks. I didn't know what a broadcaster was. I wanted a Telecaster, but it looked like a Telecaster. I later found out it was better than a Telecaster. I bought hundreds of guitars since then, and every time I go back to that one, which is the original one. This is the the uh, the clone, the almost exact clone of my original broadcaster. Every time I pull it out nowadays, whoever's getting the sound goes, "What's that?" You know, like, "Why don't you use that more often?" It just makes. I was lucky. I got a real good guitar that day, and that's what I learned to play on. In fact, I've never washed the uh, gunk off the neck. This is all my sweat and 40 years of sweat and grime. But I won't let them clean it off because I, I don't want to mess it up. Actually, this new one has a lot, of, a lot of the same marks. They went and copied a lot of the same rub, rub marks and grime marks. So, And it feels almost identical to, it, to me. Even the back of the neck, you can see they kept kind of where my dirt marks were from my oily hands or whatever. It's well done. Where is it? Oh, this one. This is funny. This is a mark here, like a scratch, that they copied from my guitar. And the story behind that is the first time we went to Japan, my uh, lighting director, Jim Lanahan, decided he was going to make customized cases. And he went and got some foam and cut it out in all the shapes of the guitars and set that inside the case so when you put the guitar in the case, it was snug, right? But he left a nail uh, sticking through on this one, so I put my guitar in and it just went and scratched a, a, a mark in the neck there. And... Uh, the, the new one has the exact same mark. There's a solder burn somewhere. Oh, yeah, right here. Somebody was doing something, and they hit this with a soldering iron. And they've got that. And I like the way that the new tuners look old, like they've oxidized or whatever. They look like they've been around a while. <laughs> Even the uh, nut here, which is broken on my little piece of the nut, uh, it's chipped off. They copied that, too. Pretty amazing work. I mean, really... Um, comprehensive in terms of the way it plays and the pickups and the tone and the look i mean it's about as close as you could get even the pick guard here if you can see this in the light where it's rubbed out from my fingers i guess on the, the black it's got the same shape as mine <laughs> The reason that we're doing this, aside from the fact that I wanted one, my wife has this uh, organization called the Tazzy Fund, which is for dog rescue. And I do gigs here and there, and we sell posters and t-shirts, and we raise you know, money. We make jewelry from guitar strings, and uh, uh, bracelets and earrings, and we sell all this stuff. And the money we get goes to the Tazzy Fund, and it goes into a, an account, and it's used to save dogs' lives and find homes for them. Like if someone brings in a dog that is either lost or the people can't afford the surgery to save the dog's life, Tazzy Fund will step in and help them out. And that's what it's all about. It's totally nonprofit. It's a noble cause, and if, if you want to buy one of these guitars, not only do you get a great guitar, but you, you're saving, literally saving lives of, of, of dogs. With the blindfold test, I might not be able to tell the difference. That's how close it is. Mm -hmm. 